All right, we're here with winner head coach Bob Cruzanis again. Bob, you guys took a 12-point lead at halftime, and then Strongsville kind of had their run in the third quarter. But you guys were able to stick out with a 75-73 to win. Just kind of talk about how awesome it was for you guys to be able to close out with the 75-73 win. Losing the lead, and then um, after a huge lead, and then coming back was a good sign. Um, you know, our guys held their composure. We did what we had to do. And, you know, we got the ball to the people that could score, could shoot, and they could do something with the basketball. So you don't like to get lucky. I mean, when we're up, um, we missed two free throws, up two. Can't do that. I mean, there's just some things that I, I really believe it was a great learning experience. You know, some guys are in new positions, even if they started. But uh, it's nice to get out with the W. Talk about how well your defense played. I mean, you guys were trapped at Strongsville all game, playing half-court press. Just kind of talk about how awesome it was for your defense to play well tonight. I mean, that was our game plan going in. You know, produce a lot of turnovers, get more shots, get more possessions. Um, and it worked fairly well. I mean, 24 in the first, and we were shooting for 25. Um, but our guys, we, they, they know they have to be in phenomenal physical shape. You know, if we're able to expend a lot of energy and be fresh when the other team's tired, that's when you make runs. And we didn't do that in the second half. And But, you know, they did gut it out. Um, some really good possessions. Um, Ian and Matt hit the big buckets and Tanner. So we'll, we'll go back and we'll, like, tweak a few things. You guys started off with the fourth quarter, and Ian made three of those big threes, and then I think he had another bucket. But just kind of talk about how him and Matthew did defensively and just kind of talk about how big of an impact they made for you guys in the last two minutes. You know, they're three-year starters, so, I mean, it's expected of them. They both signed scholarships, full rides, D2. You know, Finley and Walsh, those are really great schools. So expectations are big for them, and, you know, they did, they did what they should do. And, you know, we expect them to do a, a little more, you know, throughout the game. So if they do and our younger guys start to round in, in really great shape, and we need to get the tempo. Tempo is everything. Like when we're going up and down and getting great shots, that's when we're at our best, not at a half-court game. So um, I think next week will be a lot better. Well, Goats, congrats on tonight's win, and thank you for your time. Appreciate it.